In this video, we are going to talk about blood sample collection, serum separation, sample storage and shipment. In many of the diseases, serum samples are collected to know the level of antibody in the body against the diseases. Equipments required for blood sample collection include the following. 5 ml syringe and needle, 5 ml cryovial externally threaded and 2 ml cryovial externally threaded, tourniquet, sterile swabs and band-aid, gloves, face mask, face shield, specimen labels, Ziploc plastic bags, autoclavable disposable bags and a lab request form. Label the blood collection tube with EPID number, name, age, sex and date of collection. Apply tourniquet 2-3 to three inch above elbow. Swab the cubital fossa. Insert the needle into the vein and draw 2-3 to three ml of blood by venipuncture. Withdraw the needle, apply pressure at point of prick and seal with band-aid. Always remember that do not push blood through the needle. After we have collected the blood, discard the needle of syringe into a disposable bag. Then, push the blood gently into sterile labeled vial. Soon after the collection, the tube containing blood samples should be kept at room temperature, undisturbed for at least 30 minutes. During these first 30 minutes at the room temperature, clot formation will happen and thus Hemolysis caused by shaking of the tube during transportation will be prevented. Remember, do not freeze whole blood immediately after collection. After clot formation, keep the tubes in shipment carrier with conditioned ice packs for transportation to nearby centrifuging facility for serum separation. To prevent excessive shaking of sample or freezing of sample by direct contact with ice packs during transportation, Proper packing of samples should be done in the shipment carrier with cotton or other packing materials. One may also consider using a rack in shipment carrier to keep the tubes in upright position. Usually, clot retraction happens in 2 to 8 hours at 4 to 8 degree temperature. Serum should be separated from blood sample in a laboratory by centrifuging the clotted blood at 3000 rpm for 10 to 15 minutes to separate the serum. Transfer serum using sterile pipette to a sterile, labelled screw-capped vial. Store the collected serum sample at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius temperature. Remember that the sample should be shipped to lab within 48 hours of its collection. Sample should be safely packed in triple layer packaging. First layer package. A labelled primary watertight, leak-proof package containing the specimen, that is, externally threaded screw cap cryovial. The package is wrapped in enough absorbent material to absorb all fluid in case of breakage. Second layer package. A second durable, watertight, leak-proof package that is, a zipper pouch to enclose and protect the primary package. Several wrapped primary packages may be placed in one secondary package. Sufficient additional absorbent material must be added to cushion multiple primary packages. Outer Shipping Package The secondary package is placed in an outer shipping package, that is, shipment carrier, with ice packs, which protects it and its contents from outside influences, such as physical damage and water while in transit. Packaged samples should be transported under cold chain to the reference laboratory with prior intimation. Dispatched samples should reach in the laboratory within 48 hours. Remember, in suspected Pertussis case, Collect one serum sample within 12 weeks of onset of cough. In suspected measles case, collect one serum sample within 4 weeks of onset of rash. 